previously on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Eric and Aaron, you guys are agents. We're agents! Uh, you made such a huge mistake. Huh? We're agents now. <laughs> you thought the timeline was fucked up now? I'm gonna go touch his biceps. That's not right. Now you know how nice it feels. She'll need your help. Whoa, 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 man, man, man. No, that's that sonic looking motherfucker. What's Lash. It? Lash. That's yeah. Lash. That's yeah. the guy. We're, we're, he kind of helped in the end. We might want him. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. He's kind of scary, though. Yeah, with the spiky, sonic -y hair. It's yeah. Really, a little weird. So I guess. May, just do what you're doing. To ignore yeah. him. Forget, we're, forget. We're just going to go. Just forget what we said. You do your stuff. Don't you get it? You can't kill me. Maybe not. But I'm pretty sure he can. Dude, dude, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. He's with the deal. It's happening. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Phil. 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 So Jemma Simmons, will you marry me? Fucking bitch. This fucking bitch. You know who the destroyer of the world is? Me! <laughs> the crazy canoe. Hey, buddy. What's up? Hey. You're love our best you. buddy. We love you. Love you. Tina. You are so cherished. Thank you for waiting. My sweet hug machine. Hug machine. <laughs> the best part about killing you is that I won't have to be you anymore. If you were really me, you wouldn't talk so much. <gasps> Ooh, damn! <laughs> Alright, man, it's great. What'd you get the popcorn? I brought it. Can I have some? You didn't share your sandwich. God damn it. Should we share it? Yeah! It's gonna be an hour before they can scramble the National Guard. National Guard! Sousa! Hey! We're up here! Sousa! Don't worry, we're here to cover you. We know it's you. Come on! Huh? We got it. Is we that Daniel it. Sousa? What's he doing in now in New York? Sousa! Susan, it's us! Shoot agents! He's met us, right? 
I only have met him. Susa! I, you know it's you know it's you, you fucking gentlemanly bastard! Who is who he is? If I kill him now, I can have days, right? I have orders to kill him. Please. Don't shoot! Oh, shit. You shouldn't have said anything, man. He, he shot. Uh, I think you scared him. Deke, uh, dude, that, that sucks. Just, I, uh, Mac, Mac will forgive you. It'll no, be all right. Um, It'll be okay. You killed, uh, you killed him later anyway. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't honestly, worry. you're responsible for us being here, so this is still on you. Um, I just... I love you. Lots of lemons. Oh, hey everybody. Crew of Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Eric. I'm Agent Eric. I'm Eric. <laughs> and we are here with the final reaction to Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. What it's a journey it's been so far. We have one more hour, Aaron. Man, yeah. It's, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm quite sure I'm going to cry because I almost teared up yep. and May just hugged Daisy last That's night. That's why you're wearing the sunglasses you know, so they can't yeah, see. Yeah, it'll hide my reaction. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, it's been a long time. This is the longest show we've covered because it was our <laughs> it was first, first reaction video. Um, we've had so many great memories with the show, like Kenny and Billy joining us on occasion, too. Mm -hmm. uh, man, so many great stuff. Yeah, we're just picking up right where we left off, and we're going to be watching this finale, so... Yeah. Don't forget, too, uh, there's... While well, we have these here, also over at patreon.com slash blind there is full length, so yes. not everything can fit into these episodes and stuff, so if there's stuff that you were missing that didn't get to make the cut, you might be able to find it over at Patreon, so make sure you guys check that out as well. Yeah, he's right. There definitely is one over at Patreon. I thought so. Yep. Uh, all right, so we're going to get started with the last episode of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We'll begin in a moment. No, we're starting now. Okay. I'm just glad to see you all in one piece. One piece? Simmons mind is in shambles. Give her time. Black conflict destroyed shield. That won't matter. We can okay. still get back to our original timeline and save it. Original timeline? We can go back. What? Yes, that's where I just came from. Sassy! You saw how this would play out. I saw countless versions of how it He's like before. Doctor <laughs> Strange. We no hope that you would survive this far to give us the key to save our world. Key? Cora. Cora? Cora's the key? What? If we use enough energy, we can bring all the Chronicom ships back with us. I don't know if the Zephyr can generate enough power to... No, but 1983 New York City can. Oh, huh? uh, Damn. The whole city? Yeah, I don't know. We need something like 10,000 megawatts. But megawatts! Someone would have to stay behind and set it up and turn it on, yeah. No, Deke. We have to break up the band. No! Oh, Not you, Sousa. I'll say. No! No, Sousa. I belong here. It's his timeline, yeah, given the privilege I guess. Of second chance of meeting all you fine people, it's only right. No. We've got a hundred agents in this room. The only taught me anything said. He said you can't. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll stay. laughs> He's so successful here. I'm kind of a rock out here. <laughs> oh, that's our CEO, Aaron. <laughs> All right, people. No time to argue. I've already made up my mind. Now let's get to it. Yes, Dick. Oh man, it's so good. Watch over the lousy, will you? Oh. Aww. You know I will. I don't, they don't give up on price. I know better than anyone. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Agent Shaw. Get ready. Agent oh. Shaw. You the new guy in charge now? <laughs> Oh, which timeline are we agents? Yes. <laughs> Dude, he can be my director. He can be Director Shaw. Whoa. Dude, look at this. We are straight up in the quantum realm. This is great. Oh, Lint. And Piper. Hi. Turn this Quinjet around. Turn it. <laughs> What the hell are you? Enoch, put your face on. You're freaking everybody out. <laughs> I stole a copy of it. Oh. My time with Fitz taught me how to be an outlaw, and I've gotten quite good at it. <laughs> Man, I love you. Oh, so what's he built? A piece of the time monolith oh. to help us do what had to be done. That's what they did. Okay. Dude, I'm so glad they brought Flint back in. Thank you. Yeah, because him and Piper just now, wasn't wait here a moment. Believe it or not, there's unfinished business at the temple. Oh. Wait, were they the guys in the background? I don't believe it either. 
The hazmat suit people? That's where all this people came from? Oh my god. <laughs> it's Gemma. Gemma's looking at Gemma. We must be quick and calm. I'm just trying not to throw up in my helmet. <laughs> Dude, they thought of everything. That's crazy. He says Reed was there the whole time. There's some shit was flying there. That used to be all I did. <laughs> I need you to fly the bus. Yep. <laughs> Quick and May fighting. Are we gonna get that? <laughs> oh! I love that. That's good. You got this. I got this. Yeah. Go. Like, just like us, this two. <laughs> ah. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, Phil. Oh, quake off. This is a fighting room. I am honored to be the last. He has both powers? I think so. Is that what it is? Whoa, yo, yo. What? All in the lighthouse? Whoa. Dude, and now she can just take on everybody. Uh-huh. So that's what she can do. He's never seen it. <laughs> That's right, he would never have seen it before. Oh, okay, there's the quake with a little bit of weird energy. Oh, yeah, in it. it's a light quake. Someone needed to rescue you, whereas I snapped her neck fair and square. <laughs> oh! Yeah, you can't do oh, that shit. shit. Damn, Jesus! Back. Damn! After all, superpowers, That's the most impressive thing. Damn, damn, damn! And what comes next? May, baby! The cavalry. Ah! <laughs> the oh, cavalry. That was so Batman moment! Oh, the cavalry. Dude, she hated that name. <laughs> oh, that was good. Uh. <laughs> Amazing. I hope you know how to get the Chronicom's orders. We are giving them orders. We're making them feel? We're giving them empathy. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Which is what she can do. Holy shit! She jumped! <laughs> Open that ball! You friends or enemies? Friends. As we have always been. <laughs> like Enoch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this fuck. Last minute, that ball of light radiation. There is no way to kill me without killing yourself. Is she gonna kill herself? That's very Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Or is important. Uh, wow, okay. Thank you, Carl. I thought she was dead. I thought that they, there was a sacrifice thing. This is what we were fighting for. Family. <laughs> Quarter mile at a time. What the hell, man? We were scared out of our minds. So are you saying that we were guarding this thing for nothing? You were guarding our everything. <laughs> On the other side where the pillows and stuff were. Uh-huh. There was a monkey in there. There was a stuffed monkey. I was only in with us, guys. Yes, <laughs> Thank you, One oh, year. Oh, fuck. There he is. Looking good. <laughs> You're looking good. I never changed. <laughs> I never change. <sighs> I guess they are in the same. Am I the last one? Whoa! Sorry. I like that. I like that change yeah, I've got a good team. We work well together. Although, Piper, I think, is questioning her choice. So she's on the assignment. No. The choice she made when Ian Simmons asked her what she wanted. Yeah, what does she want? <laughs> <laughs> I showed him ET to prep for it. So We're hungry. He cried like a baby. Just... Are they sword? Maybe. Miracle will survive. Uh, sepulchers. <sighs> and fits. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that was something. 
Mark, actually. <laughs> he wants a curry. <laughs> Look, if this is a contest, I died like seven times. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even exist in Teague's timeline. Oh, Teague. Teague. I miss that lady. Look, I'm sure the D <laughs> is doing just fine. I'm going to see him. He's playing Madison Square Garden right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're only a block away from the drop off. Yeah, but we should have been there quicker. I, and you should be able to drive better. You're a damn computer. I know, but I mean, they changed the size, or you programmed me a little stupid or what? something. What? They made Alumni Davis? Davis? On all things holy, you are always as stupid. You have a Davis? That's Don't great. Up. Yes! Oh, man. I'll God. see you on the other side of the compound. Oh, oh my God! That. She has like a suit. Uh, they made a Davis. Piper wanted a Davis. That was what she wanted. <laughs> Done finally. Uh, Flint. Five minutes late to class. <laughs> You're late. <laughs> I'm giving the lecture. She's a teacher. That's not late. Oh, That's man. dramatic. Flint gets to be here. <laughs> Colson Academy. It's a Shield Academy. <laughs> Is Shield back? Dude, I love it. He did get a monkey. <laughs> finally. You're an HQ. This is what I think it is. Yeah, I'm still a mechanic at heart. <sighs> He's on a helicarrier! He is? Oh my gosh! Dude, shoot his back, baby! He's like, he's like the new Fury. <laughs> That's why he's got the trench coat, uh, just like Fury did. This is shoot? <laughs> it's funny what can happen when someone believes in you. <laughs> Give me a call and get that. He's reading Paul Cosmos Sagan. Now. He's reading it. Is she a director of sword? Well, you know, like they talk about Susan. her being the director, but she never made the director of shield. Maybe she's the director of sword. You had sword and shield both. Yeah, Susan's with her. Wow. Nebula, right? So they're getting close to a nebula. Susan, space baby. <sighs> Lola. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how season one started with her. You better put on some glasses. Yeah. Oh, he takes <laughs> off flying. Oh, damn, that's so good. Ooh, what? Yep. Whoa, it changes Look color? At this. Holy shit! That's a little different. It's like Iron Man suit. Whoa. <laughs> no return in a moment. I'm gonna cry because there's no return in a moment, Eric. <laughs> Man, I really thought there was gonna be like a big war kind of thing coming too. We're gonna have like the rest of that shield versus the Chronicoms. They didn't do any of that. It was a little more intimate of a of an ending, but I mean, they returned to the original timeline without the space shenanigans, right? And while also stopping the Chronicoms, who were going back in time, who went through a different timeline, brought yeah. them back to their yeah. original timeline, and then killed all them. Yeah. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, the crazy well, they didn't kill all of them. They reprogrammed, and those ones are nice like Enoch. Yeah, I guess. That's true. Which then helps them make awesome LMDs. Like, <laughs> I love that Piper's wish was to get Davis get back. Get his Davis back. That's fantastic. I love <clears> it. So good. That's so great. Davis has been there for so long. I was so upset by the way he died. And then he yeah, just, right? he's the driver. Well, and then I love the idea where <laughs> Yo Yo's like, I think she's regretting that. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that wish. Yeah. yeah. I remember when he was high <laughs> in space. Oh. Man. I mean, they even brought, I mean, they brought the Davis thing. They brought Piper. Flint mm -hmm. going to school. Flint going to Colson Academy, a S.H.I.E.L.D. Academy. Yeah. Is S.H.I.E.L.D. fully back? I mean, they have another team out there. There's something to do with space. Is it... Shield is a sword. I don't know. You know, a sword. You know what though? There's no tie to Sousa being at the Battle of New York. There's not. Like, there's not like a. I guess we were wrong. We went confused that poor man, New York, for no reason. That's why he's just staring at us. Confused. Yeah, I guess. I love the way they kind of wrapped up, like, you know, from where we left off at the end of last season, and them teleporting away, to the end of this season, like the missiles being okay. shot. The, yeah. the people in blue. The people in the hazmat suits. Who are these people? Fucking brilliant. That's the shit that Shield's like, ah, 
You thought we just like didn't think it through? We fucking thought it through. Yeah, that remember you so and you guys were like, where the fuck all these people yeah, go? Yeah, I always thought it was like, well, they weren't really sure exactly what they were going to do. And then when they wrote the new story, they kind of said, eh, sometimes you lose this shit and you fall through the cracks. Those cracks were filled ages ago and they figured that shit out. They are way smarter than I'll ever be. Yeah, I wonder like when they're doing it, they're like, like how far ahead are they writing and yeah, planning ahead? Or do they do something like, you know what, hey, we, how do we cover yeah. this up? So we'll put them in the suits. <laughs> you know, like, Dude. Jesus, that's such a good idea. Yeah. Uh, just the imagery of them in the quantum realm looking so much like Ant-Man and stuff. really good. Amazing. But Deke, man, our CEO, the guy that recruited us in the S.H.I.E.L.D., I wish we behind. I wish we could have seen him again. Seen something in that timeline. But he's fucking, he's director over there. He must direct They're like, are you, so are you in charge? He's like, yes. Yes. <laughs> director You know Shaw, that he did man. well over there, and he was the guy at a time, and we will see him again. Sousa, you know, I knew Sousa was going to do something because that's just who he is. But really, there's not going to be another Sousa, whereas there will be another Deke one day. Yeah, no. Like, that and, Sousa uh, died in our timeline. We have a Sousa from a different timeline we brought. And that Deke was already out of time because we changed yeah. the future in our current timeline anyway. He wouldn't exist in the same So, way. like, that must be a similar yeah. idea of, like, well, this was the timeline we were on. When we yeah. came back in time and fixed that, then it branched off. Yeah. So he would have existed here, now he's over here. So yeah. now, instead of being here, he's going to be here, and we're going to have a whole new Deke in the future <laughs> from Isla. Ayla? Uh, yeah. Al- so, Al- 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 uh, Alia, Alia. Alia. Now, I, I'm sure that we'll have theories on this way into the future and stuff. But like, they've returned to the timeline after they fixed the timeline that was the world destroyed, and then it was Izel, right? Because they would have went into space, done the whole like. Destroyer Worlds, Graviton yeah, thing. all season five happened. And, and that was... was happening, as that was happening after they came back, was when Thanos was, like, attacking New York. So we are back into the MCU timeline. Though there's some yes. muddying of the waters in terms of, like, well, what they changed, what we changed. Their timeline changed stuff, too, because then eventually they went back and grabbed Thanos yeah. and brought him to the future of yeah. their timeline. Exactly. When So he wasn't even in our timeline to snap anymore. Yeah. So I, I think a case could be made that they, like, are back into the same yeah. universe the, and we know that fury is out there with scrawls with sword sky Souza, and uh and cora could very well be a part of that you very well could have an agency of sword on disney yeah. plus if well, you wanted to and the cool thing too is that you could have because there was talks of like oh well daisy's yeah. director of shield sometimes yeah. and different things like well you could have daisy be director of sword yeah. and then you got mac who looked badass as it, director very, of shield like a, a like a hulk version of nick fury <laughs> <laughs> It's so cool. I love it. It was so cool. That, and it makes more sense, too, why he had his trench coat. Because it's just like, like Nick Fury had like yeah. that trench coat thing that he wore around all the damn time, yeah. you know? Don't he? It just, I, I love it. And he's just, he just standing out there on the helicarrier yeah. in the little virtual reality place, you yeah. know? They would have gotten him a seat, too, because he had to sit down. What was, what was the box with Coulson's briefcase? There was a key. What was the other thing? There was a square. Is that his LMD power? Oh, thing? yeah. Is They're giving is? him control. He can turn himself off when he wants to. Okay. That's what it is. That makes... Okay. Because yeah. after I saw it this time, I'm like, yeah. I think that's like his little power. So that, that's yeah. like, we won't be able to turn you off. Mm-hmm. You are you. You can choose when to. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. And he got Lola back, and Lola got an upgrade. Yeah, that was crazy. It was Number kind one, of the uh, nanobot it stuff. It altered, like, the symbol to, like... Now it's yeah. shield, you know? Yeah. Which was really cool. He used to yeah. do that, I think. I don't remember it. Yeah. But it definitely didn't turn black. No. And it changed his body shape. I mean, it had the nanotechnology that Iron Man now has. Yeah. Because it was, like, flowing in, like, a particle thing, as opposed to, like, just transforming. Well, but then there was still some po- components that were, yeah. like, zzz, yeah. zzz, kind of thing, too. So that was cool. I wonder if it could also, like, go invisible, like the Zephyr or something. Yeah, maybe. You know? I don't know. But. I mean, he's not at all concerned about people watching there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Cora was the key to get all of them out alive because no matter what, Daisy would have died and they needed Cora to bring her back. Well, I wonder if it's if she was the key for the Chronicom, mm-hmm. like reprogramming. Yeah. Or if she well, was yeah. the key for saving Daisy. It's I'm both. not sure it's if, both. If, they need to be able to have power and get that to you know go there. I guess it would be yeah, I mean, if you go with the Daisy thing, then it fits with the idea of, like, why are, are we doing this? What are we fighting for? Family. Yeah. So. Now, I mean, I, I you know, we kind of guessed the baby thing, and I, I kind of wish that maybe we didn't, and we were able to experience, I don't know if they were meant, we were meant to think there was no baby. Um, well, because there was also some 
they they didn't they didn't talk about any of that yeah. at all. Yeah. But they did during the de, like description and stuff saying about the mind thing. Jim was worried because of radiation or different yeah. things. And I was like, well, if you test blood, you could possibly sure. find radiation in yeah. the blood, and maybe that's what is going on. Yeah. What they're worried about, you know. Yeah. But that was my only thing where I'm like, ah, oh, man, I wonder what it'd be like to react to this and not know at all because I just had that feeling. And then when they were talking about a special name, I'm like, well, that makes perfect sense. So. Well, yeah, whatever they said about, like, yeah, but what's the biggest star? Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah. And he's like, all right, hold on to that name. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that name. It's, uh, so the, it's done so well. Yeah. And the damn shots they had where it's like, oh, look at them. They're so cute. Yeah. And it's like, oh, look, when you look from this angle, there's a fucking kid. It's great. <laughs> it's fantastic. And I love the moment, like, in the park. It's kind of similar to an ending another show that I really love, but it's great. So the room, they, they never be in the same room together. But, like, once a year, they get together... It's kind of the framework, I guess, in a way. Yeah, it's like the same bit. technology, yeah. right? Because isn't that the thing that they keep putting on them in the framework in season f- four? I mean, everybody got great moments, but I think Melinda May got the best. Dude, when, when she, she jumped out, out of there and said the Calvary? And just accepted it, you know? And we were all just like, we know, yes! Oh, what a great fucking moment. Dude, I remember in season one when it was all like, Calvary. It's like, yeah, she should have been a horse. Don't call me and that. Like, I need to do this. Yeah. And it's like, she hates that name. And yeah. Like, it's such a big thing. And, and then you learn why, and you're like, well, damn, no wonder. Yeah. Like, this part here is like, she's the Calvary. She's here to fuck things up. Yeah. I also love the moment where it's like, oh, yeah, fucking Sousa's has never seen her run fast. <laughs> We're like, oh, that's what she can do. Sousa was such a fantastic addition to the last season. Yeah. Especially. Because we lost Fitz for so many episodes. And come him come back in here. It was like he, was, he never left. And literally, it's like he never left. Yeah. But, and, uh, and I think having Sousa in here, yeah. it, it felt like... It helped dude, me. Him, him being here, it, it, he never felt out of place. Yeah. Even though he was literally a man out of, out of time. Yeah. I, he shouldn't be there. Yeah. But like it was great addition. It's I'm a so great addition. I'm glad we watched through Agent Carter to get a feeling of that character. And the fact that he is legitimately an agent of Shield mm-hmm. too. He's not just like a you know Deke where it's like ah oh, yeah you can, now you can come in. Like no, I've been here for Shield since its inception. Yeah. You know? I love that. I really feel like I need to rewatch through all the seasons and finish yeah. and catch back up to through this again. Yeah. To see like. I feel like there's more ties in these last two episodes that I didn't catch. You really? know, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just curious. Like, yeah. I don't know what exactly. Yeah. I don't know. It could be like agents in the bar. Yeah. It could be one three six. I definitely didn't recognize any you know? of the other people. Like they, yeah. they had them all shadowed. You one know? three six. Yeah. That. Like I just wonder yeah. if they all have different ties to different things. I'm like, oh fuck, that's what this was. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah. Like I get the ones. Like, Bam! Yeah. Oh, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. But I just wonder if there's like some littler sure. things that I'm like, I oh, yeah. missed. Like right. uh. Yo yo, whenever she left, said hasta la próxima. Yeah. Which I don't know. Like I know the hasta la vista, which was like see, yeah. see you later, or whatever, right? But like próxima, I don't know. Prox. Prox- I put in like proximity, yeah, or proximity. location, or you know, mm. see ya. I don't know. All right, look it up. I guess just to see you next time. See you next time. And there's also a, some memes of it. Gotcha. It is, but can also say till the next time. Okay. So. But her, she also got a suit. She did. She had like yeah, red, I like it. long sleeved things. Yeah. She has arms. Fucking Sousa has a leg. Yep. You know, like no one is limited by anything now. And Coulson can live forever or, <laughs> you know, in tomorrow. Whenever he wants to. And be involved in any potential spinoff they might do. Which, I mean, it could be Agents of Sword, it could be like Mac, it could be Deke. In the other world, it could be Yo-Yo's team, you know? Like, you yeah. can do a lot of different stuff. Well, just have fun and, with it. And I would love, like, if they did an Agents of Sword, and then you just had, like... You could have episodes where, like, you know, Max shows up to yeah. help or something. Or, cause, like, I mean, we even had Fury in space, you know? Yeah. Like, so... I don't know. Or maybe Daisy and Sousa go and they see Fury in space, you know? And they're yeah. doing stuff he told them to do. I mean, the whole rule of you can never be in the same room again... Is something that you could write around later if you chose to do something else. You know, you're just like, well, yeah, and then we did something else, and now it doesn't apply. So here we are. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the wasn't the thing they said is that we we won't. This is the last time we're all going to be in the same room together. Yeah. So like the main thing with that is just you can't have all of them in the same room together. Yeah. But does that mean like as long as Deke's not there, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're like, going to be real creative and fixing and going around that limit like yeah. they did with. Kenobi and Grievous and Clone Wars. Yeah, right. <laughs> or uh, Anakin and Grievous. I yeah, think. so I'm just wondering, like, maybe there's yeah. some things like that. Or, sure. like, Mac and Daisy yeah. can be together, but you can't have May there, too, or something, yeah. you know? 
Well, I think it's going to be a good idea because we're going to have a lot of feedback. We're going to go into Q&As, and this is our last Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Q&A, guys. So uh, we want to pre we appreciate everybody that sent their, like, uh, their favorite moments of S.H.I.E.L.D. in. We tried to incorporate as many of those as possible in our intro, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys so much for following along with us and supporting us and helping us support this show. Uh, we're going to go through this last Q&A for S.H.I.E.L.D. We're going to go with the Marvelous Jan, who says, I first found Blind Wave back in 2015, thanks to your first S.H.I.E.L.D. reactions, and I've stuck around ever since. I'm going to miss S.H.I.E.L.D. with all my heart, as well as both of your reactions to it. It's been quite the journey, fellas. Eric and Aaron, thank you. Yeah. Very nice. This has been, like, one of my favorite shows, probably, like, that I've, probably that I've ever watched. You know Find I mean? us on it! It's, it's like, the, like... There's some great shows out there, yeah, no. but just the writing, the creativity, the characters. The, it, even though it's limited on budget and stuff various times, like it still does such a good job with everything. Whereas like some shows, I feel like you see the seams so much more than what they do with working around things to make yeah. just a great show. And I hope that I hope that everyone that works on this gets to go on and make something else that's really great that I love too. You know, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Winchester probably had a hell of a surprise because he says, if you somehow ended up in the first episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., what would you do to survive the series? <laughs> would you warn them about Hydra, tell Sky about her heritage? Well, you can see what we would do in the beginning of these two videos. Dr. Winchester, not always the best thing. Uh, Peep says, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., best show ever, as it has always been. Lots of roller coaster of emotion and journeys throughout the series. Which character did you enjoy watching the development slash evolution of the most? I loved watching Coulson. Mm -hmm. Like he, he's like the core part of Shield. So I, yeah. I love having him there. Though I feel like overall, I don't know if I, I don't know if he really changed. Like he's not like a changing no. character. You know, I feel no. like from where we ended here to where he started, yeah. is pr except for him being a robot, is like the same character. I know? mean, in terms of who they were versus who they are, for me, it's undoubtedly Fitz. Like, from, like, the, the, the geek that didn't want to go out into the field to the cold, hard, badass master of space-time and everything in between. Dude, all the things he did going <laughs> yeah. through and stuff was so good. I loved it. Yeah. Um, it's, it was great to see the way Daisy evolved from uh -huh. being a hacker in a van yeah. to being, you know, the shit she was doing fighting Nathaniel here, yeah. you know? It was great. And yeah, that, I mean, like, the, the... sacrifice stuff. It wasn't the best, you know, uh, final fight they've ever done. I, I think Daisy and Graviton's, Graviton's probably still better. And, you know, Nathaniel's not my favorite villain. Yeah. But there are some great moments, and, you know, she got to have a self-sacrifice and be, live on, so... I like, uh, I really like... Though, I don't know if it's, like, growth, but I like that May gets to have a little bit more of an empathy route where like it makes sense that it's not within her character but now yeah. it is her character i kind of like it because yeah. you know she was very cold and just like yeah you know and now she feels her empathy changed the chronicobs <laughs> yeah. yeah and like just having her really like she's she yeah. felt all those deaths like I, maybe uh, now she's not the best agent yeah. to do that but she's a much better teacher now great she teacher. can influence there too yeah they're all great i don't know i felt like I actually kind of like that it wasn't Coulson and May together. Because Coulson did die. Yeah. And she had her yeah, moment with him. She could move on. Yeah. And this LMD can do whatever he wants to do. But they're not, it's not together, you know? Like, it still means something that she stayed with Coulson until he died in Tahiti. Yeah. I don't know if I ever would have guessed that when we first met Mechanic Mac that he would have became the director. I know. Of, you know, to this. I know, man. I mean, yeah. he, I love that he says, like, I'm still a mechanic at heart. Yeah, I know. You know? Shit breaks on this helicarrier, he's fixing yeah. it, you know? It's great. Yeah, right. Uh, Isaac Meckler says, I was 10 when the show started. Now I'm turning 18 in a couple months. I'm yeah. so sad. Uh, Isaac, you got to look. take the lesson she has taught you and become a great person. Yeah. I want to wait. Like, Leon's 10. Yeah. I kind of want to make sure, like, Coulson gets a little older, and I kind of yeah. want to watch through the series with them. So we can understand his namesake. Yeah. I want yeah. them to understand the show, too, you know? And I want, like, when that turn happens, yeah. them to be like, what? He's bad. You For know? those that don't know, he's talking about two of his sons, Leon and, yes, Coulson. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was funny, because I was... It was yesterday, we were talking about something, and I said something about Coulson, talking about Agent Coulson. Yeah. And then my son goes, are you talking about me? I said, no, we're talking about Agent Coulson. He goes, oh. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> but it's just funny. By the way, I did love the moment where Sky Daisy says, all right, AC, because she used to call him that. It's yeah. a, it a very Sky Guy moment. That was a season one kind of thing, right? Yeah. 
Uh, Dr. Hannibal Lecter says, thank you for sharing this path. We will miss uh, Aegis of S.H.I.E.L.D. and your reactions. Thanks, Eric and Aaron. Greetings from Argentina. Aww. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. And yeah. yeah, tell your friends. There's so many people that don't realize how good S.H.I.E.L.D. is. I know. You know? And Marvel's and superhero stuff. Like, that stuff's all great. Mm -hmm. But some of the storytelling and various things are just aren't as good as yeah. what they've done in some of this. Agreed. And season one, like it's, it, season one's the worst one. I feel like, and it just kind of <laughs> yeah. keeps getting better as it goes. Mm -hmm. There's some. I feel like there's some hiccups in season six. Uh, for you me, know? it's five and six, a little tiny bit. Five less so, six more so, and then this really came around for me, despite not having fits in it too much. Uh, Andrew Courtney says, uh, "Who was your guys' top performances during the course of all seven seasons?" Not from the Shield team. Mine's got to be Mallory Jansen as Ada. Her performance was phenomenal and terrifying. Does so Seuss not from count? the main. Uh, is he on the Shield team? No, he's on the Shield team. Damn. Okay. Because I was like, his performance is yeah. just damn good. Ada was good. Like she had a very good like robot-y kind yeah. of thing. I like Ghost Rider. So much enjoyed young Paxton here James playing Paxton. His, playing his his amazing. dad's character. So much fun. Take it sucks that he just got shot. And he's out. But so much fun. Take Bill Paxton from, you know, yeah. like his performance was good there. Yeah. But then tossing in James Paxton, mm -hmm. having to try to portray that was yeah. great. I love uh, that. Also, uh, shout out to Mike Peterson, Deathlock, which we didn't see him. We didn't see a lot of the people that I wanted to see still. But Deathlock also had a great performance throughout the seasons. Not the one of the sides, Chica. <laughs> yeah, Gabriel Luna. <laughs> it was a great ghost. So man. good. I loved it. Nate says, who was your favorite villain, main or not, throughout the series? Talbot, I hate calling him a villain because he went crazy and that's what yeah. he became. But in terms of a favorite, he's my favorite that can be qualified a villain. I would probably say Hydra Fitz. Hydra Ward. Hydra Fitz. Oh, no. Oh, the, the doctor. Yeah. Yeah, you're like, right. That was so good. Yeah, that like, was I so loved good. The reveal that he's still there. Fuck, you're right. That's a good one. Yeah, and like he wasn't even like the main villain yeah. kind of thing. Ada, like, was, Ada was the bad guy, you know? But yeah. that was just so good. He played it so well, and especially being used to him being the good guy. And like, just fits like from the beginning, through the brain damage from underwater, you going into that, like yeah. just all this stuff. I love that it kind of tossed in a little bit like that couldn't, like his mind couldn't handle the implant. You know who else was good? Was, um, shit, who's the, the bad guy Cree, that little shit? What was his name? He was fun. I don't have the fact to there, but he's always just so, hmm, like, all poppy. It was Sonara. Remember Sonara with the balls? Sonara, yeah. Yeah, that was um, good stuff, too. Yeah, I'd probably go with that. Ward was great. Ward was a great, great, yeah. great, great villain. Mr. S-Class says, can't believe we're here. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has been my favorite show for the last six years. It's been one hell of a ride, and I'm grateful. Uh, I got to go on that ride with Blind Wave, the Normies, and Liam Catterson, and so many others. And, yeah, we appreciate people being with us, but remember, there's a lot of other uh, reactors out there that, if you haven't checked them out, you probably have a whole series to go through and, and watch the show all over again. So, uh, The Overseer, if there's one character you would love to see return sometime in the future, who would it be? I'm going to go, I'm going to miss Fitz Simmons. So you get to pick somebody to come back into the MCU other stuff, maybe not a shield oriented mm -hmm. thing. I love any time I see Coulson. Yeah. And with Coulson being able to be like an LMD kind of thing where yeah. he can be anywhere. Like I'd love to see, like he was at HQ they said, you know, mm -hmm. like he's around. Like yeah. I'd love to see him show up. And yeah. with a lot yeah. of the Avengers now in the current timeline mm -hmm. either have died yeah. or moved on or you know whatever, like we don't really have sure. Anyone yep. who's gonna be like, wait a second, you yeah, know? I get you. Like maybe Thor. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he died. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So like, you get uh, uh, Falcon, mm -hmm. Winter Soldier, like him working with them or something yeah. like that could be kind of cool. Or Captain Marvel, who's met him before. Yeah. You know, like there could be some cool stuff there. So I'd, I'd pick him probably. I want Fitz and Simmons to. They are retired. Yeah. And should stay. I want them to do that. Yeah. Although I would love an Agent of Sword. Yeah. I, I mean, I would definitely want a moment of like I would welcome a moment of like God, get him out of retirement. There's only one man. One woman who can do this, Fitzsimmons. True, that'd be great. Or you know, you get Shield showing back up, and you have, yeah, Mac. <laughs> He's showing up on a helicarrier. Uh, Porto says, "I've watched the reactions of Shield since the first one, uh, but I never sent a Q and A. Uh, but now I need to say, Shield is my favorite show, and I'm so glad that it's. Uh, I'm so sad that it's ending, but still happy by the journey. The little show that people stopped watching because it was too slow actually created a new concept to, to TV, which is the pods." Uh, while creating one of the best TV seasons, and that's crazy. 
So now I asked, you're just continuing. Now I asked, which one of the uh, seasons of S.H.I.E.L.D. was the best? Four. Why four? <laughs> right? Uh, and, uh, four you, was great because yeah. during that season, yeah. they had their full season. The like there wasn't, there wasn't at the time being like, is it going to be canceled? Is it not going to be canceled? They had it, and they gave it the pods, and it worked so well for it, the way that it weaved in like, here's this story yeah. arc, here's this story arc, here's this story arc, and all three tie into the end of the finale. Yeah. You know? I love that Porto knew your answer and my answer. Uh, last but not least... Thank you guys for the reactions, the companionship with S.H.I.E.L.D., and for helping me learn English from Brazil. Oh. So thank you, Porto. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad we could help with English. I feel bad that you're looking at us to teach you English, because yeah. words are not good on our mouths. I can't even read. Emerald Phoenix, what do you want more? A Deke running S.H.I.E.L.D. show, a Daisy Space Exploration show, or a May S.H.I.E.L.D. Academy show? Film like Scrubs. <laughs> Dude, a May Academy thing could be kind of cool. Colson Academy. And you could just have you could have a new anyone team. show yeah. up too as like a cameo. Like Colson yeah. could show up at Colson Academy. Matt could show up. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. And like you could see like, especially if you go into the movies, you could have young versions of some of those heroes. Mm -hmm. Like you see them like becoming yeah. agents or heroes or whatever. Of those three, I'd probably go a Daisy Space Exploration <laughs> show just because there's a lot of cool opportunities to tell out their stories and. Maybe run into, like, Captain Marvel or Very something true. out there, you know? There's lots of stuff. Star-Lord, you know? Star-Lord and the Guardians. Thor, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I think that one has a lot of things you could do with it. What was the third one? Mac? Is that what it was? Uh, May, Shield Academy, Daisy in Space, Deke running Shield. Deke. The Alternate Dimension. Oh, man. I wish we could have seen kind of Deke, like, yeah. how he's doing now. Whether he's, like, he in a band. He just has, like, an eye patch. And you know, they said about him playing He, stole, he steals, Fury. like, Fury's gag. Yeah. I'll keep my eye on you, but it's just fine. Yeah. <laughs> that could be funny. Uh, Billy B, I love the finale. Do you feel like it left each character's ending uh, open-ended in case they ever wanted to use them again? I think it did. Kind of, yes. Just maybe not all together. I think it ended it well enough where it's like, look, they're all here, they're out there, and like, yeah. we could, there, there could be more stories to be told, but mm -hmm. this is the end of S.H.I.E.L.D. But it's not the end of S.H.I.E.L.D. S.H.I.E.L.D.'s still around. There's an academy for it, Eric. There's yeah. an academy. Uh, the Kyber Games. I found you guys via Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. reactions, and I've followed you ever since. I've never done a Q&A before, uh, and now, all I want to know is what are your favorite episodes, moments, or characters from the series? Uh, from the end of the finale, it'll be a ride. Um, so, just like, what's a favorite, like, like special shout-out I mean, Some of my favorite right moments. Now. Like, w one of them is, like, like watching Ward after he turned bad. Yeah. Like, some of the fight stuff he did. Mm -hmm. Like, combating, going yep. through, and, like, just taking yep. people out was great. Fantastic. Some of the stuff he did before that was great, too. Yeah. But he, when he was, like, the bad guy, it was yeah. so badass. Uh, when Coulson Halo jumped through the fucking church thing into the portal going after Ward. <laughs> that was crazy. That was amazing. Did take out Hive? Yep. That was great. I love that. Um, Ghost Rider and Ada, that, that moment yeah. was crazy good. Uh, right. That Coulson, lash. Coulson being Ghost Rider. Daisy's line that lash was made to stop. Like he was a response by the Inhumans to stop the first Inhuman. It was pretty cool. I like that moment. Lincoln and Hive in space when they blow up was mm -hmm. a fantastic moment. And, I mean, just any Ghost Rider moment, but my favorite the might be chase. like when he's in the. No, when he's in the prison. With that one ex-gangster guy who's like, oh, yeah, it was these other guys. It was my crew, you know. And then, like, you think, like, well, maybe you should let him go. It wasn't really him. And he just kills him anyway. And he comes out, and all the prisoners that are riding just lock themselves back in there. And the way he walks out was perfect. That's such a great moment. Uh, David, uh, this tweet is not about the finale. I just want to say thank you guys for all the amazing nights I've got to spend watching your reactions. And all the work you've put in these years. Eric, Aaron... Kenny, Billy, one last big thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you guys, very nice. We're glad that we could be a part of the show. And for people that are watching in the future, we're glad that you watched us back in the day. Yes. I'm just glad people watched you. Yeah. Codename uh, Witch says, am I the only one that feels like Garrett, if Garrett didn't immediately get shot, he could have actually turned over a new leaf in this timeline, especially under the influence of Deke? Do you think he would have repented for all his mistakes by sticking around to help rebuild? Yeah, that's exactly what I said at the end of the last episode. I kind of wish that that didn't happen and we yeah. could have had, like... I think it would have been great for the character, having the actor who had passed, the, the son, being able to play him and then mm -hmm. have a redemption arc of the same character kind of thing. Cool. I think it would have been a great Especially idea. Especially if... This, I mean, I... Honestly, they probably just shot him and because it ends and then, like... 
they don't need them in the next episode. You know, they don't got to pay the actor. <laughs> but uh, I would have, I thought it would have been really interesting to have him in an alternate timeline, have him alive and with Deke. Though, I personally, in that situation, would never trust him. Unless he, yeah. like, he had to prove himself to me somehow. That could be the other thing, too. Like, you're like, oh, so Deke just had, you they trust yeah. him? He's okay? Yeah, I get that, too. Uh, Wiz says, no Bobby or Hunter award, but it was a great finale regardless. There are so many spinoffs they can do after this, but never going to happen, unfortunately. You can always hope. You know, we'll, we'll see. If, with, you know, I hope with the idea of Disney Plus doing yeah. like the TV show stuff, right? That, that, that's our biggest hope. Mm-hmm. I doubt the movies are going to tie in. Go back ten years. Do you think we were ever going to get Infinity War? Do you think we were ever going to get Spider-Man in the MCU? Did you think we were ever going to get the X-Men that are coming back, the Fantastic Four that are going to be coming back? You know, I still hold out, hold out hope that we can get some form of the Netflix Defender stuff back one day, and I'll, I'll hold that same hope with the show as well. Yeah, and with things like WandaVision and all that stuff supposed yep. to be coming out, hopefully they like you know let's make a new Disney Plus series, do it there. Yeah, maybe that'll work. I don't know. Uh, Andres from Earth eighty ninety six says, "I have no idea what else to say, but wow." This show means the world to me and clearly means the world to you guys. I have a feeling Aaron is going to break down seeing Alia. <laughs> uh, my final question is, who has been your favorite main side character? So, like, Enoch, Souza, yeah. Robbie, Deke. I really I really hope Melanie hasn't watched this yet because I want to watch her watch it because I think yeah. she's going to just oh, yeah, break definitely. down at that point there, too. Um, dude, Enoch was really good. We had, like, what, three seasons with him? Yeah. And they, they were great. I loved what they did with him. Yeah. For me, it's probably like Deke and then Enoch. You know, I mean, Suzo is only this season. I love Suzo, But special shout out to Davis and Piper, who got to yeah, like kind of come into it. And then they killed off Davis. And I was so sad. And then the Davis LMD moment is a great payoff. Mm-hmm. Minus Ward being bad, you know, and lying to our faces. Mm-hmm. The original crew made it through the entire series. Yeah. You know, like it was Fitz Simmons. Except they didn't. They didn't listen all the times they died. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess that's true. I died seven times. Yeah, like seven times. Jonah Uck says, uh, "Thank you, Blindway, for being there every week to discuss, review, uh, theorize, and just all around being fun people and cheering people like me up at every video." My question is, where do you see the organization organization of Shield going now? Because uh, it seems like in the MCU, there's absolutely nothing. But here we have a whole Shield Academy. Flint's going to it. <sighs> See, they're, my... they're training new agents. There's a helicarrier again. Yeah. My wonder is like, is this putting us into the original timeline that they're putting into? Is yeah. it when? Is that separate from? Is it when Infinity War occurred mm-hmm. in Endgame? Right. Yeah. Like Endgame ended, and they had a different timeline than where Thanos came from, essentially. Right. Or at least once they removed Thanos and he came to the future of Endgame, then that timeline's different. So are yep. we in the timeline that had to deal with the Thanos or didn't have to deal with the Thanos? Yeah. Like the snap. Did the snap happen? Exactly. Is it a timeline that Cap spent his life with Peggy? Or is it a timeline in which he didn't, you know? Like yeah. there's a whole bunch of different opportunities there. Yeah, so I, I'm really curious on how that works out. But, I mean, once that's in there, I mean, mm-hmm. maybe you just get... It'd be great just to have S.H.I.E.L.D. back. Um, but yeah. I don't know how you do that necessarily because you also have you had Ultron I guess that was kind of mm-hmm. like this is S.H.I.E.L.D. you know yeah. and it's like because everyone was like oh no S.H.I.E.L.D. this bad. is S.H.I.E.L.D.? Hydra you know, this is what over. S.H.I.E.L.D. supposed to be yeah. yeah so there's been some nods mm-hmm. to it every once in a while but it's kind of taken a back yeah. seat so I would hope to get more of it uh, Caleb Diaz I mean there's so many people that are just you know showing their love but can't believe this is the end I just want to say thank you for reacting to the series S.H.I.E.L.D. was uh, my big introduction to Blindway for me, and I look forward to every week to your videos. Thanks for five years of awesome reactions. Best show ever. It's great. It's a great show. Uh, Christopher says, considering Nathaniel had both Daisy and Cora's powers, he didn't really do anything special with them except make his eyes glow and then got blown up. <laughs> it's true. There was yeah. the eyes glowing. His first blast felt like it had a little bit more color, like more lighting into it. But then after that, like, I didn't really see anything from the Cora thing. Mm-hmm. Like, they should have just yeah. maybe not done that part. I don't know. I think maybe they wanted her to be weak. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But it did feel a little feel a little odd. You figured he would have done a little bit more. Yeah, I agree. But I also didn't like him that much as a villain as a whole. The Chronicoms and stuff and the story and the characters that they were doing was more of a... I, I liked Garrett better. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> we got Tone, who says, no final questions. Just wanted to say that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has been my favorite reaction series you guys do, along with one of the best shows I've ever watched. 
I'm really going to miss both the show and the reactions. Let's do this again next year. <laughs> Edgar just asking, hey, how is Davis alive, though? Uh, the Piper asked Gemma for any, or Gemma offered anything that she wants. So do this, Gemma I'll created an LMD of Davis. I don't know how they got, he wasn't in the framework, so I don't know how they got like his brain scan. But who cares? It's It works. He might have been in the framework. Maybe. Maybe we just didn't see him. So we have an LMD of him. And I just, it's like, figuring you're a robot, you could drive better, right? Isn't that what she said? Or a computer? Yeah. Uh, Lorraine says, not a question, but after you watch the finale, there's an AV Club interview with the creators. They reveal that they did give some thought to linking Sousa with the Avengers cop character, Inver Played. The creators were like, maybe, but they were like, we don't have time. We got other stuff to do. Yeah. So. It's still him, though. We went back and found out. He told us it was him. Eventually. He didn't. Annie Saunders, I love that Piper's ultimate wish was to have Davis back. Same girl, same. I love that big lug. <laughs> it was great to have them show up. I kind of wish we had maybe like a Bobby Hunter thing, mm -hmm. too, because it was cool seeing them. And they, What was it? Hunter showed up one time to help. Also, Annie, you know, put, always put a lot of thought into, like, the timelines and stuff. So yeah. she says, great finale. I was happy to be somewhat right about the timelines. But what about Thanos? Uh, I'm so sad the show has ended. It's been one of my faves for years. I've been watching it since day one, and it's been an honor watching it with you guys. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Yeah. And I, I enjoyed watching, like, your mm -hmm. your timeline stuff. Yeah. I see those on, on Twitter all the time, too, so... I thought I had a really good idea in the beginning when I was like, well, you got you get them living now, and they didn't see the snap happen because they were in a time with no Thanos anymore. So mm -hmm. maybe they're staying in that timeline, which would technically mean we're not in the movie timeline. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, they could go either way, I guess, if they decided to tie anything in. Uh, Blaze says, remember a few weeks back when I asked about the agents in hazmat suits at the temple? They got me good. <laughs> I can't believe I ever doubted the show. I want to say, as amazing as the show has been on its own, your guys' reaction series has been the best companion to it. I discovered your channel uh, sometime around season two reactions, so I just want to say thank you for sharing your enjoyment and theories and thoughts with us over the years. Never forget Eric's reaction to the shotgun axe in season three finale. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. And this show always had lots of questions and thoughts, too, of, I felt like, where it's like, mm -hmm. well, how the hell, what's this I know, one? Yeah. Whatever. And then they always wrap it up. They always, they always do such toes. a good job, you know? Well, I don't know why Enoch was a squid. No, he wasn't a squid. We just, he, he was, was in a, the shower. He was a shadow squid. we couldn't see. I remember it. He didn't have tentacles. He, I think he did. I don't think so. I'm going to go back and look. <laughs> House of Summer says, none of my friends watch this show. You guys are the only channel who reacted to the show early in the show's run, so thank you so much. The joy of you guys brought to a few of us who loves it. Sorry that your friends didn't enjoy a great show. <laughs> <laughs> Peep says, how funny would it have been if the after credit scene is VJ at the bottom of the ocean, still in Terra Genesis, and just there with nothing <laughs> after, leaving us with a tease that uh, would never end, just kind of an inside joke. Yeah. And he's like, da 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 mm. <laughs> they never did anything with that. Nope. I wonder if maybe they might have had some kind of a human tie-in. There's not going to happen. Yeah, that's possible. Because, I mean, that thing went through yeah. hoops, didn't it? Like, there was going to yeah. be a movie and a TV show and then a movie uh -huh. and a TV show. and Maybe they were going to have a tie-in to it or something, and they just, everything got scrapped. Jess says, hey, guys, a little trivia. The code for Colson's briefcase at the end is the number of S.H.I.E.L.D. episodes in total. 136. Oh. Love the show to pieces. Thanks for the awesome reactions. Really going to miss it. That's awesome. I Thank wondered you, what it was. Thank you for that. 136. What a great uh, thing they've done. That's a cool way of doing that, too. Yeah. Of tying that in there. Uh, we're going to end. The last one. This is uh, David, who says, Fitz finally got his monkey. <laughs> I like how it's like, I got this monkey hit me in the yeah. Very done, done very much on purpose, so that was fantastic. All right, guys, that was the last Q&A. Obviously, we couldn't read all of them, but the uh, outpouring of love sits very heavy in my heart. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Um, we love the show. We love the crew. We love the actors, the, the VFX guys, the production, whoever it was that had to just, you know, keep finding interesting angles in that hallway for a couple seasons, you know, to, <laughs> yeah. to keep it going. Change it up. Yeah. Or how many times they had to kind of redecorate a little bit by a yeah. little bit to make it... Something a little yep. different. It's really good. And, uh, you know, our editor, Billy, who has been with this show since I stopped editing it, <laughs> you know, 
He's been a big part of Blind Wave here too. Crusader, who made us a shotgun axe. Yeah. It's a lot of great stuff, man. And a lot of uh, our identity as a channel is, was founded in S.H.I.E.L.D., so... It sucks that it's gone, but I'm, I'm glad that it it's, didn't it's, Game of Thrones it up. It's crazy, because <laughs> this year, like, I feel like two of the big things that we started with were Arrow and S.H.I.E.L.D., yeah. and this yep. year we lost both of them, you know? I know. So... Nothing lasts forever. Anyway. All right, well, uh, Aaron, I don't know where to go from here. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, guys, thank you so much. We appreciate... You know, we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if anything comes back with any Marvel stuff, you either review it, we'll react to it. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out. And until next time, guys, lots of lemons. What are you doing? He's a short, right? Not that kind of sort. No, we can do this. We'll see you guys in the next series. So. You the new guy in charge now? Hell yeah, he's the one in charge! We're like his lieutenants or something, sure. right? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. we're all in charge. We're just, we're in a whole new timeline. We get to write shit. Dude, we can do anything we, do we fucking want. I don't need any of this stuff. Yeah, we can do anything in this timeline, baby. <laughs> How do I do this thing? It's like a, it's like a, like a, Thank you guys so much for watching. As I said, make sure you subscribe for any future stuff that is coming down the way with Marvel. We'll be covering that and, uh, we appreciate you guys' support, and thank you for supporting this show throughout the years as well, because we enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if those attach, Eric. I don't, it's going to work. I don't think. Give me duct tape.